the lattice enthalpy of calcium chloride can be calculated using three of the enthalpy changes shown below. And for this question, we need to identify which enthalpy change is not required. So the four options we have here are the enthalpy change of solution of calcium chloride, the enthalpy change of hydration of the chloride ions, the enthalpy change of formation of the calcium chloride, and the enthalpy change of hydration of the calcium ions. So there are a couple different ways that we can work out the lattice enthalpy of our ionic compound, and that's by using either a larger Born Harbor cycle or by using our solution hydration Born Harbor cycle. So the larger Born Harbor cycle involves formation enthalpies, atomization enthalpies, ionization enthalpies, electron affinities, and so on and so forth. But here we can see that we've got the data for the enthalpy change of solution of our compound and then the hydrations of the respective ions. So if I just draw out what a cycle would look like, then we can see which enthalpy change we do not need. So for our lattice enthalpy, that's forming our solid ionic compound from the gaseous ions. So I'll put our solid calcium chloride here and then the gaseous ions at the top. And this here is going to be our lattice enthalpy and that's always exothermic, so I've drawn a downwards arrow. Then our enthalpy change of solution is if we go from the solid calcium chloride and we dissolve that in water to get the aqueous compound here. Now, these can be exothermic or endothermic, so I'm just going to do a downwards arrow for the purpose of this diagram. So this is our enthalpy change of the solution for the calcium chloride. So then just to finish off this cycle, all we actually need is just going to be the hydration values of the ions. So that's where we go from the gaseous ions to the aqueous solution. So we're hydrating the ions with the water. So this is our hydration enthalpy. And then what we can see from this cycle is that we don't actually need the enthalpy change of formation of calcium chloride in order to work out this lattice enthalpy because we've not got our calcium and our chlorine in elemental form in order to form that solid. Therefore, our answer is going to be C.